The only thing we look for online, of course, is our recipes, especially in this memorable time of Rosh Hashanah, or like we call it, Jewish New Year. Now with us, we've got Sharon Glass. It's an honor to have you in our espresso kitchen. Welcome Thanks to you. for having me. Now, I want to ask you first, how do you normally celebrate Rosh Hashanah? Well, always with family. It's mm -hmm. most important to be with your family. It's a new year, so you always want to be with the family, sharing beautiful foods around a table. And you know the Jewish religion is all about eating. Mm -hmm. So um, it's sweetness. It's, okay. a, it's, a, it's a new year. Well, let's wish everyone a new year and let's start eating. I see that there's lots of sweet things on the table. There's exactly. also chalas and some apples. Should we get started? Why do we have round chalas instead of uh, a normal long bread during this time? Take us through some of the traditions and maybe rituals as we call okay. them. Okay, so the challah round is the circle of life it's round for a year that you should have a whole year and at this time of year we normally bake with raisins right. for sweetness mm -hmm. everything is about sweetness so whatever you eat you want to have some generally honey because honey is considered very sweet and you want it to be a sweet year so the apples being a beautiful fruit sweet will be dipped in honey and instead of dipping the challah into salt which we normally do we dip that into honey this time of year as well so even the the, the foods that you eat whatever it is or everything is around honey. Well, now that's the honey and also our beautiful breads or our chalas, like we call it. I see that there's dates, pomegranates, mm -hmm. and we're going to make a salad this morning. We are. We okay, are. so take me through it. Why do we okay. use pomegranates? Well, pomegranates always have 613 seeds, every single pomegranate. Don't you find that amazing? You know what? I didn't know that until this morning. 613, probably for the 630 commandments. Commandments, or exactly. Like we call them. Exactly. Right. And we always need to eat a new fruit during this time? At this time of year, but not on the first night, on the second night. All right. So it's, it's, it's something that you haven't eaten during the year. Sharon is saying on the second night because Rosh Hashanah is the 5th and the 6th of September. So from tomorrow night to also Thursday night. So, okay, we've got pomegranates, so we all sorted, I think, for second Correct. night. Correct. <laughs> Dates as well, also symbolic of, of a, a sweet fruit. Mm -hmm. um, we have some cranberries, oranges. Uh, we've toasted some nuts. They look and these amazing. are almonds, yeah. which we toasted with a little bit of olive oil and a little bit of coarse salt. It gives them a really nice flavor. If you didn't want to use the salt, you could just do them with the olive oil. Um, they Similar to, I don't know if you've ever heard of a Marcona almond. I haven't, no. They, they, they get them in America. They're the most amazing things. Oh, this but we've looks got some, <laughs> some uh, beautiful baby leaf salad, some smoked fish, and this would be a really nice starter. Okay. So the salad dressing is with oranges, a little bit of orange zest or orange rind, honey, of course. Um, we're using a touch of balsamic because we need a bit of acidity in our dressing and a beautiful olive oil. And... Um, should we get cooking? Yeah, then okay, we make a so salad. All right. We make a salad. How do we do this? Okay, so so let's do the dressing first because whenever we do a dressing, especially when you're using coarse salt, you want that salt to dissolve. Okay. So you need to make the dressing beforehand and you know you're very busy cooking lots and lots of things. So that's something you could e easily make a couple of days beforehand. So it's always two parts olive oil to one part um, vinegar. So generally, say let's say a third of a cup of olive oil. Okay, I love how no one ever measures. <laughs> Everyone it always goes, you know, you need a touch and it goes in this. Okay, so I'm white Vinegar. A little bit of white um, vinegar. Okay. A little bit of, would you like to do the orange Orange zest, I'll okay. do this. Okay. What else can we go some, in here? So we've got some orange juice as well. So that will balance with the, with the white balsamic. Yeah. We've got some honey, of course. I put enough in there, look at that. And some That's honey. That's beautiful. If you're wondering what we're doing, we're cooking in our kitchen, sharing glass with us in our expression kitchen, and uh, we're cooking for Jewish New Year, or Rosh Hashanah, like we call it, and we're making a beautiful salad. Yes. In it, pomegranates and a whole bunch of sweet things as well. And she's just added some honey to our beautiful dressing. Okay, would you like to give me a little bit of salt and pepper, please? No problem. And then we're going to add a little bit of Dijon mustard also, just to give, what that does is it actually just thickens and um, emulsifies the whole dressing. And I can feel that whisk, honey in there. Think, yeah, Lana, that works that. quite well. Just to give you a nice tip, if you put the honey in the microwave for 20 seconds, it yeah. loosens it, so it pours really easily. You see, that's what we need, some advice during this time. Okay. okay. And there's some pepper in there. Did I put enough in? Good. Yep. Okay. Go for it. So I, I think like we're to... running out of time. Okay, we should so start, let's start with start our So I'm so making our, our beautiful dressing. Of course, as Sharon is compiling and putting together our beautiful salad, our keyword for today is salad. Exactly that. Salad to 33728 to recreate a beautiful, beautiful recipe that we're making in the kitchen. So you'll get a link to the recipe uh, and also our big campaign ingredients will be in there. Yeah. So, so it's all fresh, our it's beautiful. We've got orange segments. We've got lots and lots of color with our pomegranates. We've got some dried cranberries. For me, it's all about a look. I think we eat with our eyes. Yeah, we do. So whatever looks really beautiful. Listen, this looks amazing. The pomegranates really give you gorgeous color. And you've got this fabulous dressing that you're just gonna top the whole thing with. 
lovely pitted this dates. This is looking amazing already. Well, you see it already emulsifies there yeah. as you're doing it. We'll finish off with the nuts. We've got some beautiful hot peppered salmon from Pick and Pay. And this is really nice as a starter because we always start generally with a fish. Yeah. And the fish being the head of the year, you know oh, that. That's, so you know that's what I've why. Heard of this. Yeah, like during Rosh Hashanah or Jewish New Year, you put a fish head on the table. Yes, because the Rosh means head, right? And Hana is the year. Is the year. Okay. So the head of the year is the, the head, head of the of fish. The year. There we go. Okay, just a little bit of fish dotted on here. Okay, and, and basically you could use smoked salmon, but the peppered salmon is particularly delicious. We just want to slice a little you bit of You do this so well. You can tell that you can whip this up like on the same night just before. What do we you do with our dressing? Could. Do we just dressing, go we're just going to drizzle. I think you just use a spoon. I'm just going to slice a little you bit see, of avocado. I was ready to pour all of this over. It just shows you, Sharon. But you I, like cooking. <laughs> I do. Don't you? Am I good at it? Yeah, sometimes. <laughs> <laughs> I think if everybody has time, they're good at something. Yeah, no, I hear you. Well, here okay, goes our dressing. Go. Our keyword for today is salad. Salad to Three, three, seven, two, eight. Listen, we're going to finish this with, with our beautiful nuts. nuts. And look at that. It's sweet for a beautiful, sweet new year. So we're going to go to Ewan while we have this salad and wish everyone a leshenatova or metuka. Ewan, he's closing doors. Something to do with dogs. Ewan, what are you up to? 